Good day, everyone. I am Alan Marimon. So today, I will be going to discuss to you the story analysis of the voyage of Sinbad the Sailor, an excerpt from Arabian Nights. So the seven stories of Sinbad the Sailor are descriptions of his journeys. They are all similar but still different. The stories were told to the rulers Haryar. So before that, but before that, um, please allow me to read to you the contents of my presentation. So here are the contents of my presentation. First is the background of the story, the author's background, reading of the story, dramatic situation, method of the story, themes, noteworthy lines, denotation and connotation, symbolism, figure of speech, and the implication of the title. So, the first one is the background of the work. The tale is about a merchant called Sinbad, who lived there during the Third Islamic Caliphate. The stories of Sinbad's adventure are filled with details of giant birds, sea monsters, whales as big as an island, goddesses, and evil fictional characters that are appealing to the children and even adults. So Sinbad is one of the characters from the Arabian Nights, a collection of Middle Eastern stories named Shariar. This story, however, was not part of the original 14th century manuscripts of the Arabian Nights. It is believed that European translators added it during the 17th and 18th century. So next is the author's background. The author is unknown. The story of Sinbad the Sailor has been told in many, many versions with slight variations in title and detail. This story was probably added to the original 1000 and one nights in European translations, notably by Ant Antone Anton Galland, 1704 and 1717. So the next is the reading of the story. So the sailor, the sailor story began in the city of Baghdad. Baghdad was founded founded in the 18th century and became the capital of Abbasid Caliphate. Abbasid Caliphate was a dynasty of caliphs who ruled Baghdad from 750 to 1258. Sinbad belonged to a famous city called Baghdad, and he had a great love for his hometown. Sinbad the sailor made seven voyages throughout the sea east of Africa and south of Asia. The sailor faced many exciting adventures throughout his seven voyages, like fighting with monsters, mystical powers, and discovering superhuman events. Sinbad the sailor believed in his luck and good fortunes. His belief saved him from all struggles and hardships. The sailor's willpower and the people he met on each journey gave him a good lesson and a good way of living. At the end of each voyage, the sailor yearned to return to his city, Baghdad. His longingness towards his hometown was clearly seen in all his voyages. So, once there lived a poor partner named Sinbad. The poor partner used to carry luggage or things from the ship for his livelihood. He worked hard to make money. Being a porter, he wasn't able to earn much money. The porter blamed himself for being a poor person. One day, the porter met a wealthy sailor named Sinbad, the hero of the story. While speaking with the poor porter, 
The sailor understood the porter's situation and started narrating his voyage voyages to him. The purpose of telling telling his story to the poor porter was to make him recognize there is hope for him and he explained to the poor porter how he lost his wealth and regained it with good luck and fortune. Through his his stories, Sinbad the sailor tried to tell the porter that he can also earn his wealth through his luck and good fortune. Sinbad the sailor made seven voyages. So the first journey is Sinbad the sailor told the story of his first journey. He traveled a lot, saw many islands, and then he stopped near one that looked like heaven itself. He and his crew unshipped on it and lighted a fire so they could cook some food. Some of them cooked and some of them walked the island. All of them were happy and cheerful, but it didn't last long. The captain told him that he had to go to the ship because the island was a giant fish getting ready to dive into the sea. Some of them were saved, but some of them stayed on the giant fish. Sinbad the sailor, Sinbad the sailor stayed on the fish, and Allah sent him a wooden throw and he saved himself. Then he came to another island. One day, he decided to walk around and explore the island. He saw a man riding a giant horse. The man took him into a chamber underneath the ground. There, he met an emperor that gave him an assignment. He had to write down every boat that landed on the island. One day, a boat from Gaida came and Sinbad the sailor decided to go home with it. So the next journey is Sinbad the sailor decided to travel again. He came to an island that looked also look like paradise. Sinbad was tired so he fell asleep on the island. And when he woke up, he was all alone. His crew left without him. Since he was al left alone, he had to do something to survive. He saw a giant bird and decided to tie himself up to her legs in hopes she'll carry him to an inhabited island. The bird carried him to a mountain and underneath it was a valley. He went to he went to high to a mountain. He went to the end of the valley and saw something strange. A piece of meat fell from the sky. He tied up himself to the meat and then the eagle came and carried him to the top of the mountain. He encountered a group of merchants, and he traveled with them back to Baghdad. He lived a carefree life, but soon he wanted to go on, on a new adventure. The Third Journey They traveled to another sea when the wind got them and blew them away to the mountain monkeys. Nobody came alive from that mountain. The monkeys surrounded the boat and threw them to the island where they saw a castle. They got into the castle and it was empty. So they decided to spend the night there. In the morning, a big monster woke them up, grabbed their captain and threw him to the ground. After that, he stepped on his, onto his neck, demanded a fire to be lit and then baked and ate the cut pain. The same situation happened the next day when the sailors wanted to outsmart the monster and cure him. Before nightfall, another one of them was dead. After the slaughter, the monster decided to sleep. The sailors grabbed the spears and shoved them, them into his eyes. They managed to beat him like that. They built up a boat and went back to Baghdad. Sinbad the sailor lived happily, but his inner voice made him to travel again. The Fourth Journey Sinbad the sailor went, went to another journey. Everything was 
everything was going well until a storm broke their boat in half. Allah saved him by sending him a piece of board that helped him get to an island. They wandered around the island until they encountered a group of naked men and they managed to save themselves because they were much smarter. After that, Sinbad ended up in a small town. The citizens welcomed him and the emperor married him to his daughter. He spent his days peacefully but one day he decided to head back to Baghdad. Even though he had everything he needed to live nicely, he wanted a new adventure. The Fifth Journey Again, Sinbad traveled from one island to another. He encountered many misfortunes and ended up on a big island where he got into serious troubles. He was even accompanied by an old man who kept on telling him how lucky he is to be alive. Sinbad saved his life, and now that old man didn't want to leave his side. Sinbad was wise, so he got the old man drunk and ran away from him. He saved himself thanks to Allah. He worked on an island to raise money for his trip back to Baghdad. When he got home, he forgot his troubles and decided to plan a new adventure. The sixth month, they had a happy journey, but the captain out an end to it. He realized they got off of their road, and they unloaded an, on an island. All of the merchants soon died, and Sinbad was left alone. Sinbad had to survive, so he wandered until he found an emperor that lived a happy life. With his help, he, ma he finally managed to get back to Baghdad. On the last journey, Sinbad got some money from his journey, but he still managed to travel more. They had a pleasant trip, but then the captain told him that the wind took them to remote seas. They were attacked by a whale who could be compared to the biggest mountains. All of them knew they won't get out alive. Sinbad remembered that every time he was in trouble, he would pray to Allah and he would get into trouble. He swore to Allah that if he survives this time, He'll never sail again and search for troubles. Allah saved him and Sinbad never traveled again. Next is the dramatic situation. So first is fighting with monster. All the journeys of Sinbad, he ended up fighting with monsters in order for him to be alive. Second is the mystical powers. Sinbad is surprisingly survived from the monsters that he fought off with. He fought with. Next is discovering superhuman events. The unexplainable situations that Sinbad can do. For, in for instance, when he flew with, he fly with the bird. Next is the mood of the story. The struggles, the hardships, and the good way of living. So the journey of Sinbad faces so much hardships and struggles before he go back to his town. Sinbad has all the good way of living. He managed to travel everywhere together with the merchants to explore the sea. Next is the themes. Adventures, hardships, generosi generosity, luck, good fortunes. Next is the Noteworthy lines. The first boy voyage, Sinbad the sailor stayed on the fish, but Allah sent him a wooden through and saved him. So it is so it is a time when Sinbad chooses to stay at the fish, but that he thought it is that he thought it is an island. The second voyage, Sinbad was tired, so he fell asleep on the island, and when he woke up, he was all alone. It is when all his crew left him with no words. The third, they traveled to another sea when the wind got them and blew them away to the mountain of monkeys. It is when the cup, their captain has eaten 
by the monsters. The first voyage, they wandered around the island until they encountered a group of naked men and they managed to save themselves because they were much smarter. On the fifth voyage, he encountered, ma he encountered many misfortunes and ended up on a big island where he got into serious trouble. It is when um, Sinbad escapes from an old man. The sixth voyage, Sinbad had to survive, so he wandered until he found uh, an emperor that lived a happy life. In the seventh voyage, he swore to Allah that if he survived, this time he'll never sail again. So it is when Sinbad is afraid for his life to be eaten by a big whale and swore to Allah that he never sail again. Next is the denotation and connotation. Sinbad, the de denotation, a citizen of Baghdad whose adventure at sea. Connotation, Sinbad is a hero. Basra, denotation, a city of Al-Basra, Mahafuza. Connotation of Basra is, it is where many ways came together. It means. Next is the symbolism. Sinbad symbolizes hope. Sinbad is their hero. Ships symbolizes a journey, a crossing, adventure, and exploration. The figure of speech, metaphor, metaphor, hyperbole, and personification. So the implication of the title. Sinbad the sailor believed in his luck and good fortunes. His belief saved him from all the struggles and hardships. The sailor's willpower and the, pop and the people he met each journey gave him a good lesson and a good way of living. So, that is all. Thank you and God bless.